myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. in my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you can. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freya. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me.
These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. I think we'll need to adjust our strategy since there's more than one. Let's try using a sigil. Well done. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. Could I ever think of this place as home again, after all that's happened? We don't have the equipment for this. Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. My sister! 
angels can break through their shield. They're defenseless now. <laughs> So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy.
Now how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. 
War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers, not so much. I see that. We don't have the equipment for this. Ah. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. Turn to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility, one you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't know. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes. But those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. I mourned you. Oh, 
missed you so much. And I, you, Ingrid. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed guys. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother. Here to meet our new allies, or shall we depart? You suppose that big fella we're traveling with might want to help me with a thing? Mayhaps. Now and again, he's in the mood to make useful. May I ask, how did the traveler come to follow my brother? I was broken. The truth I pledged my life to, it was a lie. Lord Frey, back Give me something real to believe in. That's Freya, the Lord of Second Chances. He saved me, gave me a family, a purpose, and I will gladly die for both. Thank you. He's lucky to have you. Tell me about the camp doll. Lord Freyr found her half dead in the jungle. She probably escaped the blows whom they're breeding far north of here. Still owe me the story of who made these things. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. Need something special?
good fit. Keep your bits in all the right places. Damn! Am I good or what? That ought to last you a little while. Very good. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the River Delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. Was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Freya, shall we go? I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Yet I hope this alliance has some staying power after all. It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word.
This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. Suna. The elves and flares can't mention the gate like this in Alfheim. Kept on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barons. A trip to Alfheim? Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? <laughs> log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs. Well, brother, before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye, but surely the lad's got more sense than to- Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Sucker, he owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Atreus. Oh, come on then. Hey, Tyr! Wake up! You got company. 
Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sentry's so-called study? You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if mom did. That is not fine. Her secrets are off every step of this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin, but I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tyr. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you are going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me! Listen! Zed, let go! <laughs> what the fuck? Atreus! It's Sindri. Try to keep control! Walkers, definitely in Midgard. Erbausa. Yep. Home sweet home. These things. When did it get so bad out here? Keep it coming. You're just helping me stay warm. Find some shelter. At least something out here doesn't want to kill me. <gasps> Just need someplace warm. Ah! Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. <gasps> 
What is this thing? Some kind of white? What is it you want? Jump up! More ravens. You trying to tell me something? First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, lying. Ah! I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! Gotta get out of the cold. I find shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where father ends up dead. But if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Get control of this. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Charlie? No. Charlie. Please. Please. Charlie. Mm. <laughs> hey, big guy. I'm here now. Don't you worry. You're gonna have to stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't help if you don't... Emily! 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 
I know, buddy. I know. It's cold in here. Freya hasn't been checking on you? All right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. You should be able to make a fire from all this mess. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. You're welcome. Go now. I can't stay. I just can't let my dad die, too. There's got to be something I can do. He's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bird, is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall. This is Asgard. Hold on. I'm coming. Oh, you don't seem friendly. <laughs> Hey, Odin, I thought you said I was welcome in Asgard. Uh. 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 
You could have led me around, though. Yeah! Danger! I know! Got it! I see him! Jump up! Well, this might be the craziest thing I've ever done, but if that's what it takes to change Father's fate... What am I gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess? But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a fort told by prophecy kind of way. Diapa! <laughs> Bet it's safe from the other side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Hrimthur. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it, and I didn't think to ask. Hold on, I was Frey at the house. Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. <gasps> Hmm. Father would just burn this away with his blades. But what can I do? Huh. Maybe that's sigil magic on my bow canal. What does Rob say? Elka! If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble...
Welcome. Elka! <laughs> there we go. Wait, that sounds like people. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? Nope. Not unless you're an ace your god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an ace your god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh, Allfather saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You, you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long are you stay? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Is that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Odin's Raven, you know, from Hugin and Moonin. It's a pretty good guy. Though, not sure he'll know too much about climbing. Well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. I, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. And now you say? I mean, a little ironic last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, you're doing great. Thanks, Gilder. 
Hope you're right. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. Help up! A white? Up here? Yeah, I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. The Alpha. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Breathe, and yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. Or not. Uh, want to just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Up, up. I get it. Whoa. Okay. These are connected. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides, though.
Hey, this might work. Here we go. Made it. Ah! Woke up more wind. Jump up. Hey, you get to fly. I'm doing what I can. Any more shortcuts? Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. <clears throat> hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki, who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. <gasps> so, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself. All the way up Reimther's wall. <sighs> so, what did Loki ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. <gasps> he just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. But Loki kept climbing. One. Foothold at a time. All the way to the top. <sighs> Nowhere to go but up. <clears throat> okay, okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Come on! Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Then why are you out there, and not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Oh! Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, all father, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you. That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or... No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? <laughs> the Jotnar. 
enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. I will be the judge of them. This way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move, and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Gultorper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burnt. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. <sighs> Whoa, are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you... Clearly, whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Primther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Hey! Whoa! Uh. Hey! Helmets! I brought you a practice time. I thought we were going to own it! You see, the thing is, you So I am not letting you anywhere near the all- That's right. You have all of your stupid little tricks. Oh, very nice. With 
moves are back. It is a wonder that the Yonard lost every war they ever fought. Down, boy. Well, that was boring. Guess who's next? You sure you want to keep our father waiting? Funny thing. I am sure about that. Yes, I am feeling very sure, matter of fact. Oh no! Arrows! How fearsome! <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! How is he doing? <laughs> oh. You were counting on that to protect you? Arbohuta! Guess those arms could not lift a real shield. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Odin! You'll be seeing him from your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense! <laughs> oh! Not even close! Is that it? Is this all you have to show me? <laughs> ah! Good boy! That is what he deserves! <laughs> Wow. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Like it or not, he's all father's guest. I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki, you made it. I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, oh, mother. Oh, mother. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think. You know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh? <laughs> I can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Priest, meest, carry on, pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! 
I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All Father. Queen Gana. The Ain Huryar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Huh. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Ain Huryar, but they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon the Nafen, Rothgar. Moon the Nafen, Warm. Moon the Nafen, Kiana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. OK, but. Look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in, a major learning opportunity. Or both of us. What about my family? My friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I'm not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there, all father. Yes, sir. Uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You training puck pockets? You know what, Derlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, 
and help yourself to a change of clothes. Guess I could try this on. It has less mud on it anyway. Whoa, I can use this. Hmm, huh. nicely equipped. What needs work? Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Through Thor's Doctor. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. Uh, someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. Fair enough. Come say hi when you're back. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and... and and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since... Huh. Who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. 
and they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. They give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? To give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. We're more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? It feels like knowledge. Truth. All truth. All the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe. Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. Looking for and finally unearthing this. See that? It shares the same mystical image. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? Recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Small there. Obsidian Ispitha. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. All father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this. And this stealthy side of beef. And see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you. Go easy on him, you hear me? Muspelheim? The rest of the mask is here? It's where all father dropped us. What do you think? Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms. Let's see what's lucky in that shiny toothpick. Oh, Ingrid! Nice move! Ah! 
Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... Too slow. Hey! You can't just grab people like that. No, what else do they need? Roll you? <laughs> the day's young. You take this one, kid. to head through those rocks. Hey, can you? Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. They were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms and I reveled every single one of them. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't play me. <laughs> Listen, Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look, clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. Not aggressive enough, in my opinion. You're more than welcome to step it up. This is me trusting you. Be the way. Hey, 
Hey, kid, where's the mask pointing us? Where's the mask pointing us? The mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She hey, seemed... Hey, come look at this. What the? Ah! Wait, Sutter Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking. Well, that's your problem. Ugh. Trials are just past that cliff. Might be something you and Goof could do to them. First, we deal with them. Come on, Thor. Just check them out. What have you got to lose? Time. That's right. Just try it. You getting tired? Not in the slightest. Don't bother. And over. <laughs> Another ogre? Maybe a little worse. Can I get some help here? Since we're short on time, I'll humor you.
forefathers waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. <laughs> That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on! Give me a challenge! Now to get to that shrine. Hey, Angry. Do you trust the Aesir? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Muspahan. Feels like forever ago. Here's the shrine. Ah! Can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Where are these things coming from? Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I, I... I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. The question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. 
Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. Prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fine. Are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surtur's. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to. What seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? It just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just... Be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the God of Thunder? Oh. Mountains of corpses by the time I finished. Cut down like the The lava ran red with their blood. Through it, really. Great! You wanna help down here? Wouldn't think you'd need my help if you beat all those trials. Or did you just watch your father do it? Hey, what's taking so long? You wouldn't believe the scores of these things I just killed. It was glorious. I think you're right. Through Woodward. She'd be faring better than you, at least.
done that at any time. You seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. So, where to? Let me check. Looks like we need to head through that gate. Thor? Make that impressive. Real god stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. Ah! Damn it! Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Logan, don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. But you're still a giant and I'll revel in killing you too. What did you do? Loki. <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him. Really, now. <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard, but I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that. And I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. You always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Ooh, getting nosy. Getting personal. No, I don't get it. But it's nothing like that. It's well, to be honest, it's the only language he understands. I'm serious. Go ahead and try being nice. Sorry, uh remembered something. That's fine. Alright, come along, Hoogan. <laughs> This has been a weird day. Exactly.
Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness, his confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves forever. Come, Stisset, please. You have left the court. I am surprised, I'm surprised that you of all people would set our fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms.